Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Tyrone Spong and his management have responded to news that Spong has allegedly failed a drug test, saying that it's a setup and that this is a manipulative attempt to remove him from the Usyk fight. He was of course meant to face Alexander Usyk on October the 12th in Chicago, but that fight is now in doubt. The Illinois Commission will consider the adverse finding, as was reported by Eddie Hearn on his social media channels. They will consider that and then make a determination on the what next. But it looks Looks unlikely that Spong will be part of that fight with opponents now on standby, according to Eddie Hearn. And this is his tweet that announced it all. And subsequently, media, including BoxingScene.com, have reported that the A sample, uh, which was an adverse finding, was clomipine. So that is found in female fertility prescription medication. And for men, it is deemed as uh, by the World Anti-Doping Agency to be a masking agent. So Spong and his management are talking to BoxingScene.com and you can see here. So his manager has said, this is uh, Marcos Gonzalez. We received the email at roughly 7 p.m. Eastern time. Eddie had already tweeted out the news by the time I saw the email notification. It was very strange because Tyrone was just informed that he tested negative from the other tests we did. And he goes on to say, we had a face-off today and all of a sudden Usyk decided to shut it down. We just had a weird feeling all day that something was off. Everything started to make sense after receiving that email from Vada. And then uh, Spong himself, uh, as the article points out, is more direct and says, this is a setup. I vehemently deny that I have ever taken the substance named in Vada's report. I have asked for testing of the B sample at a laboratory of my choosing. Testing performed last week at the request of the Illinois Boxing Commission showed what I've always known that I'm a clean fighter. And he goes on to add further down. Where are we here? I asked Matchroom to publicly acknowledge that I tested negative for all performance enhancing substances just a few days ago. Any adverse finding is impossible and in my opinion a manipulative attempt to remove me from this fight. I voluntarily agreed to the VADA testing because I have nothing to hide. I will not rest until I'm absolved of this outlandish allegation and will pursue all legal avenues available to me, including seeking legal damages to correct this wrong. That is Tyrone Spong talking to BoxingScene.com. There is a whole lot to unpack with those statements. But, you know, claiming that this is a, st a setup and also, what did he say, a manipulative attempt to remove him from this fight. Uh, to me, on the face of it, it seems well far-fetched. But, you know, this is boxing, so I guess you can never say never and never, you know, rule something out. But on the balance of probabilities, to me, it probably seems more like that he has failed a drug test. And talk in there about, you know, he'd passed other drug testing and that he'd asked them to put, you know, basically say he'd been drug free. Well, that could have been for the other tests that were previously taken. So my read of this, which we've had a, a number of cases recently to draw on, some results have come in and there's been an adverse finding. Just because one, two, three, five, four, seven, ten, whatever tests are negative doesn't mean that the, you know, second test, the 11th test or whatever the number happens to be won't contain something and this is why vada in particular is good for testing because it does actually you know anytime anywhere more rigorous testing than would otherwise been in place for a number of fights that's why it's good to have these guys on board because they do with their testing come up with quite a few findings and just because spong was clean on some tests doesn't mean that he's not you know obviously tested positive for something he may say that you know there was nothing in his system and it's of course his right to profess his innocence and say that this is going to go to a situation and maybe he will be proven right we just don't know but on the balance of probabilities 
I would say we are looking at a failed test rather than some mass cover-up because Alexander Usyk didn't like the look of Spong the day that they had a bit of a face-off. To me, that does seem a little bit far-fetched. Spong naturally is going to deny that he's taken something. But in terms of what happens next, well, it doesn't look good for Spong. And if the B sample is tested, I mean, is that even going to be possible to get that done ahead of fight night? It would seem unlikely and it may rule him out of uh, the running for this fight. We haven't heard at the time of this video that it's completely off, but obviously it's not looking good for Spong. And coming up with these sorts of allegations, I mean, who exactly is meant to have perpetrated this so-called, you know setup that they've meant to you know manipulated him out of the fight is he talking about eddie Hearn or is he talking about uh, alexander usik's people or is it uh, this mass cover-up with all involved here it does seem like a bit of a desperate attempt to try hit back at the failed test and naturally you would expect a fighter to come out saying that they're innocent but going this far this is really sort of pushing the boat out that's for sure and it's not to say that it's not possible, but it does seem improbable, <laughs> to me at least. What do you make of this? Tyrone Spong's claim that this is a setup and that he has been, you know, it's an outlandish allegation and he will pursue all legal avenues available to him and that this is a manipulative attempt to remove him from the Usyk fight. But I guess the question is, for what purpose? Drop a comment, loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.